Hello, Heather Hoffman here to share a project with you that I made with uh, my Falling Hearts confetti panel confetti cuts and some flamingo cardstock. I, I trimmed them down to five inches wide and three and a half. As you can see as I laid it out there, this allows me to make this project with just one eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. And I die cut my Falling Hearts confetti cuts four times to make all four panels and I've trimmed some vellum down just the right size to fit behind each panel which is about four and three eighths of an inch by three and a quarters and i'm using some good sturdy adhesive um, i like score tape that's my personal favorite and this is the eighth inch it's nice and thin so it's um, kind of the perfect size to adhere and i also threw a little tape just behind some of the hearts just to make it a little sturdier so you don't have to worry about um, the hearts getting caught on something or pulling off um, this isn't a decoration you maybe necessarily keep for years and years but at the same time it'd be nice um, for it to be able to last long enough to enjoy for at least a season or two so I'm gonna do that on all of the panels um, vellum on each one and then I will have see how you can just see through the vellum but not entirely now with all four of those done I skipped ahead a little bit um, now that extra little piece of cardstock from that eight and a half by eleven I've trimmed it to four inches high and I'm gonna use, start off with a scoring board. I'm gonna score it um, first off at the quarter inch mark with my little um, scoring tool. And then I'm gonna score at half inch intervals after that. And the reason for this is as soon as I finished all this scoring, um, that one I scored a little rough and split my cardstock, so I did another one. Now I'm gonna pull my paper trimmer out and I'm gonna trim between each of those and what this is gonna leave me is a scored line with a quarter inch of cardstock on each side. Um, this is just enough to be able to fold and this is what's gonna provide the bones of our luminary to hold it together. Um, trim off that one that I um, broken through a little bit. I didn't wanna use that one. Had to check it and sure enough it was. Um, now each of these I'm just gonna use my fingers just to score them. You don't have to crease them super hard. You actually want them kind of to stay at about a 90 degree angle um, as they hold your luminary together. Um, but I'm going to crease each one, and then on the outside of that fold, I'm going to use that same score, sturdy score tape, the eighth inch, and I'm going to put just a line um, down the side of the score line, one on each side. And then start by just peeling one of those edges off, and then take one of my heart panels, and you want to adhere that just to the outside of that score line. Um, so when you adhere them together, you can... There's just a slight edge between pretty much where that score line is, is um, just a little bit of a separation. You can adhere them tighter. I was afraid I'd miss and, and get them off. So that seemed to be um, a good, good one to use. So I'm gonna continue on here. I'm gonna add my adhesive to each one, kind of do an assembly line. The great thing you'll see when this is all done too, um, it'll, <laughs> it'll actually fold flat if you do wanna store it for another year or use um, down the road. I like that I could do that. Um, once you get them all adhered on. And I just only peel off one side at a time, then I don't have to worry about the tape sticking to my fingers where I don't want it to or um, anything like that. This would also actually be fun to make. You could continue it on and make it longer and make a little screen to put up on your mantle. Um, maybe put some candles behind this. I also wanted to make note, you really don't want to use a real candle in real flame. These are paper, so obviously kind of flammable. Um, I use just LED little disposable candles that um, you can buy pretty inexpensively. All right, now you can see I've got all sides together. And to put that last one, I'll peel the tape and then just fold it in together. And the nice thing is it meets up pretty much perfectly. That means you've got it all together just right. Now you have a box and pull out my little LED candle. And you can just turn this on at night when it's dark and pop it inside. And I'm gonna reach over and turn out my light so you can see a little bit how it glows through. So much fun, all kinds of different colors of cardstock. You can make a whole bunch of them. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed, have a great day.